Well, you know, it's tough economic times. Valentine's Day could be on a budget this year. That's right, but with that stress, the last thing you want to ignore is your relationship. So here to give us an idea on how you can do Valentine's Day and keep the budget intact is radio show host, author, and uh, exp expert re relationship <laughs> guru, <laughs> LaDawn Black. LaDawn, thank you so much for being Thank you so much for having me. We have learned so much. I mean, even the, even the, the commercial break, right. learned a lot from you so far, and with only one question. <clears throat> so this year, Valentine's Day, you said you can spice... Spice out of steel? Definitely, definitely. You know, with the recession and a lot of people trying to get back on their feet, you really want to do the Valentine's Day, but you want to do it at a low cost. So there's some things that you can definitely do. Okay. okay. Well, walk us through some of the things. Uh, one thing you say you can do is scour the newspapers, websites, and things for maybe uh, restaurant deals. You know, the big thing is restaurants need us as much as we need them. So call up your favorite restaurant and see if they have a special for Valentine's Day. A lot of your newspapers have coupons. Go old school. Don't be scared of that. Then go clip a coupon and actually use it. Go on the net and get coupons. Call your favorite establishments. They're willing to work something out for you. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing, too, you say is not to let child care get in the way of you enjoying yourself. That's a big deal because when people look at spending hundreds of dollars for a dinner out, but then actually another hundred dollars to actually have daycare, swap with another couple. Make it Valentine's Day weekend. So instead of everybody going out on Monday night, you make it a weekend. You swap with another couple so you can get free child care. Then you said go old school with yes. your romance. What's that? Yes. It's going back to the way you used to date when you were in high school, maybe even early years in college. A walk in the park, a picnic after the kids are asleep in the bedroom, you know, a museum, a great landmark. I'm quite sure Baltimore is full of wonderful free things that you haven't seen, all of them. But sometimes guys think they need to you know, break out all the stops in order right. to impress this girl. What do you tell guys? Uh, you don't get impressed. You don't have way. to do that. Like, I actually had a young man ask me that. He's a student at Hopkins. He's like, well, I don't have a lot of money. What can I do? And I said, find out what she likes. You know, some people have little small things. They like, his girlfriend likes pink pigs. So she's like, well, let me just go find, you know, a little small pink pig and give that to her. It's all about connecting on an emotional level with small things that really mean a lot. Okay. And you talk about the small things, tangible things. Right. What about exchanging tangible things that as opposed to just kind of, you know, random arbitrary yeah. numbers? You know, everybody goes into the jewelry and the candy and the gifts, but sometimes it's the things that you really need for your relationship. So maybe a coupon for more date nights. You know, fixing something around the house that we've been talking about for years. Doing the dishes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Whatever your relationship needs on a daily basis, actually attacking those things and giving that as a gift to your lover. Okay. Well, we, you, you gave us another tip. When we come back, uh, I think a question I asked was, oh. what's the one tip that you give most people and couples uh, throughout the years being a relationship expert? When we come back, we'll talk about that. No. We talked about uh, what? Tip? Right. So one question I had for LaDon was, of being a relationship expert, what's the one question that everybody usually works their way around to? Where to find a great guy and where to find a great girl. And the answer is? They're all around you. We have to get away from those models that we have in our head that society has given us, our parents have given us, and really drill down to what it is we need. Look at that postman. Look at that trash man. Look at Gigi. Right. <laughs> and have fun on Valentine's right. Day. Right. Let's see. <laughs>